Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This is May vs. the Pyro Rap Battle by GT Music. Obviously, subscribe to him. I just found these a couple days ago, and I, don't, I was like, how did I not see these before? And they're so good, I'm sorry I had to jizz all over the screen, as you can see. No, I'm kidding. That's not. That's the intro for him. But yeah, JT is... I mean, I found it. I started with... I think the first one I saw was uh, We Don't Bite a while ago, and then... Um, you know the sands and papyrus the to the bone one and then just a few days ago i managed I, I found these i don't remember what i was watching but i saw all this over in the sidebar i'm like huh so it's um may and the pyro pyro from uh, team fortress to may from you know overwatch uh there was a comment here saying in the in the comment section for him saying about the pyro how like the voice isn't right but we never heard the pyro talk. It's a bunch of like, woo, woo, woo. it's voiced by a man. But no one really knows if the pyro is a man or a woman. Even Valve is like, we're not telling. You know, in uh, Meet the Pyro, which is kind of seeing the world through the pyro's eyes. Um, in like the very beginning, uh, Scout says something like, oh, he's not coming, is he? And he says, he. But when you have the subtitles on, it says, He's not, uh, he's not coming, is she? So it's like, he's not coming, is she? It's like, okay, so is it a male or a woman? You know, uh, male or female? It's kind of like the mangle in um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Scott doesn't want to say if the mangle's a boy or girl. It's just... Because I think, actually, when mangle's given a voice, you have an overlap. You have a male and female voice, so it's like, which one is it? So it... it uh, MatPat did a video, like, five years ago, um talking about the gender and he came to the conclusion that he might possibly be a schizophrenic homosexual man just based by like finger lengths and the schizophrenia is more common in men and the, you know just go watch it you'll understand what I'm talking about but um yeah I think it's great it's almost like Deadpool almost the way he sees everything Deadpool probably doesn't obviously doesn't see it that way, but it's just it's like a Deadpool kind of thing. But we're gonna get right into this. Let me see if it's not too loud. Hopefully, it won't be too loud. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Put you on ice, let's see how long you keep in the freezer. You won't keep me down with a fever. 
thank you for making this far in the video. I mean, if you're here watching, who won? This, really Who's like next? It. You decide. Thank you for that. Big shout out to. Ray. <laughs> um, so that was May versus Pyro. Um, I'm sorry, I had to do the whole epic bat rap battle of history thing because uh, that's what I think when I see rap battles now because of yeah. I've been watching like epic rap battles since like the beginning, so anytime I see a rap battle, that's the first thing I think of is epic rap battles of history. So, yeah, May vs. Pyro. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, him saying that he'll end up like you know she'll end up like her team did. That's pretty fucked up, because if you saw the uh, the movie with her, the little uh, cinematic type thing. Yeah, you'll know what happened to her team. They all died. Um, <laughs> like, the, like, the power cut out and they died for, I mean, I think it was years that the power didn't gone out or something like that, but they were, like, in their cryo state and the, the power went out and they ended up dying because, you know, they were essentially taking off life support. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty messed up. But that's how the pyro sees everything. It was happiness and sunshine. And so if, you know... If he's hitting you with a lollipop in Pyroland, he's not actually hitting you with a lollipop in real life. Chances are he's digging an axe deep into your skull. Um, in his world, he sees you surviving and you're just like, oh, that was so funny. But in real life, you're bleeding to death. <laughs> so I, I, I think his voice would kind of be like that. You know... When he, he's kind of angry, he gets that, you know, very angry sound. But And then and when he's in Pyroland, he kind of reminds you of, like, one of Deadpool's personalities where it's all happiness and, you know, hey, unicorns, I love unicorns. Let's go play with unicorns, you know, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, who won? You decide. <laughs> Let me know what you want to see next. I've got a few more of these that I want to do. There's, um... There's the one right there, Mercy the ver uh, versus Medic. There's uh, Scout versus uh, Tracer. I'll be probably doing epic rap battles of history. Uh, those are really good. Uh, there's a Freddy, uh, Freddy Fazbear versus Slenderman that he's done, which is pretty good. Uh, I'll do a lot more of his stuff because his stuff is really good. So obviously, like I said, subscribe to him. That'll be in, in the description. And... Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.